What up gamers, Fence here here, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So yeah, last time we finished off the Psychic Gym, and now we're about to take on the Ice Gym, and I feel like this might be a breeze, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hey, Nimona. Of course, are we gonna battle? Let's battle. <laughs> Fence here. <laughs> it's time, it's finally time for your last gym, right? I heard from Rika, <laughs> but I'm 0% worried about you. I know you got this. Even La Primera seems like she wants to keep an eye on you. Maybe I'll go find her so we can cheer you on together when you battle the gym leader. So go have a battle that's fruitful for you and for the crowd. Okay, no battle. She just wants us to finish off this last gym. Welcome to the Glacido Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Fencer, yes? Great. Now, in order to face gym leader Grusha, you'll need to first pass the gym test. Here at the Glacido Gym, that means doing the Snow Slope Run. Ride a Pokemon down the designated course and try to reach the goal within the time limit. To start your test, just head out, out of the gym and go up the slope to your left. We'll fill, fill you in on the details um, there. Now get out there and have fun. All right, sir. Will do. All right. So we just uh, go up the slope, which I'm guessing uh, might be going up that mountain there, maybe. Um. So what over here? Yes, you must be the representative. Hey there! I've been waiting for you. This is where the snow slopes run starts. Your task is to ride a Pokemon all the way down this course. It's like a slippery, slidey nature trail. Finish. I uh, reach the finish line within the target time, and you've passed the test. So, ready to attempt the gym test by taking on the snow slope run? I'm ready to go. Let's get this test started then. Enjoy the winter wonderland on your way down. So yeah, what is this gonna look like? Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's an actual like. Obstacle course. Okay. Well then, let's do it. Vroom vroom. Going fast makes me feel alive. My heart beats in hyperdrive. Alright, here we go. Oh, we're, we're gliding. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Wait, what? I can't even use like the abilities of Maridon. Like we do have to like, you know, slide down. Oh. Okay. Oh, we hit something. <laughs> Wait, is that it? <laughs> Is that it? Well, that was easy. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're like less than five minutes in. Like the other one. I mean, I guess there might be some battles. Let's see. There might be some battles. Congratulations on completing the run. That was some of the best sliding I've ever seen. Almost like seeing Grusha in his prime again. Oh, you obviously, obviously passed the gym test with flying colors. I'll go let the receptionist know. Oh, that was it. <laughs> Why well, we're not even like five minutes into this video. And uh, yeah, somehow we are, are about to take on the uh, the gym. Yeah, the, the gym leader now. <laughs> so fast. Okay. Yeah, maybe this will be a breeze. Oh my gosh. Great show on the slopes, Frontier. You finished the snow slope run. No problem. And you know what that means? You're clear. You clear. You've cleared the gym test. Way to go! <laughs> You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Do you want to face the Sub Zero Shredder himself, Gym Leader Grusha? Yes. Very well. Allow me to show you show you to the battle courts. All right. If it's all ice, 
and it's pretty much easy for me. I got Talon Flame as backup, but Cerule Edge will be the the main guy to do this. I feel. Oh hi there. Oh, d isn't it called like Sea Titan or something? Like the one that this thing evolves into. I'm guessing that that might be the Ace for uh, Grusha. There you are. Ugh, I'm freezing. Oh yeah, I remember seeing this in the trailers too, this gym leader. I take it you're, the, you're a challenger? My name's Grusha. I'm a snowboarder. Used to be a pro actually. Now I'm a gym leader. I saw you on the slopes. Your skills, yeah, they were pretty cool. But don't let that go to your head. Winter mountains are dangerous. They can throw your life right off course. Easy as that. Same thing with Pokemon battles, really. It's always the most dangerous when you're just starting to get the hang of things. Today's not a great day to face me, you know. You're better off giving up. You're sure you want to battle me? You bet. Still trying to act cool, huh? That's too bad. I mean, you're the one that's trying to act cool. <laughs> um, well, this is my job now, so don't take what I'm about to do personally. Get ready to feel the icy bite of reality. You are challenged by gym leader Grusha. Frost Moth. Alright, easy peasy. Don't say I didn't warn you. Not my fault if you get overwhelmed. I feel confident enough to terastalize all the way, guys. Uh, let's see. Let's see if um, let's see if we can actually do it. Yeah, I, I feel confident. All right, here we go. Oh, there we go. All right, Frost Moth is down. Nice, we're now level 48. Oh, wants to learn Bitter Blade. Is this the unique move? I think so. Oh, it's fire. Uh, the user focuses its bitter feelings toward the world of the living into a slashing attack. The, us the user's HP is restored up by up to half the damage taken by the target. Ooh, yes. You know what? Shadow Sneak can go away. <laughs> I like the flame charge because of the speed increase, so I think I'll try to keep that at least. I know Shadow Sneak is good, but I think we'll be fine. Let's go keep our current Pokemon, Bear Tick. Uh, I want to see Bitter Blade in action. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a cool effect. Alright, good job. Sea Titan, yeah, that's the one. That's the one it's called. Dang, I forgot all about that. That was one of the first new Pokemon they revealed. Is this also water too? Uh, should be fine. Ooh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Liquidation! Uh, oh my gosh, I better restore my health then. Bitter Blade. <laughs> Restore health. Okay. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I like Bitter Blade. I really like Bitter Blade. Nice. Wait, Altaria? 
You know what Grusha does look like he would use Altaria? You're not just talk, I see, but you're still the one fall step from a steep fall. And then it's gonna become mice. Uh, Bitter Blade. Battles are like mountains in winter. The situation can change in a heartbeat. Not really with mine here. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna become ice. I'm gonna wreck it. Oh yeah, you, you messed up by changing it to ice. You screwed up. Oh my gosh, yes. And look at that. Already at full health. That is amazing. Nice. I think that might be the move, you know? Flame charge and then bitter blade. Just to get that speed in. You melted straight through my ice. Yeah, wow, that was a very fast gym overall. <laughs> that burning passion you have. You strive for the future no matter what challenges you face. Just like how I used to be. Oh, never mind. I should give you your gym badge. Huh? You want a photo together to commemorate your win? C come on, that's, that's so uncool. I don't usually do that sort of thing, but... Okay, fine. Special occasion. Nice. I like the uh, Pokeball Scarf. With 8 badges, you should be able to catch Pokemon of any level. They'll also listen to every word you say, whether it's cool or not. Oh, and before I forget, you should take this too. Ice Spinner. The user covers its feet in thin ice and twirls around, slamming into the target. This move's spinning no motion also destroys the terrain. Ah. This should be a lot more useful than some silly photo of you and me. Feel free to stop by again, if you don't mind the cold that is. Alright, so yeah, we've gotten all the gym badges, man. Whew. Oh man. Now we can move on to the other stories. I mean, yeah, we can... I don't think we have to do the Pokemon League right away. Fence here. Cerule Edge. <laughs> you did it. I'm so happy for you. This is the best. I know I said I wasn't worried, but my heart was still pounding the whole time. I, I mean, did you see the battle? I, I pretty much had it in the bag. <laughs> there was like no danger, really. Most impressive Fence here. A shining display of talent, I must admit. Seriously, pat yourself on the back. You beat every single gym. Which means, indeed. Now that you've gathered 8 gym badges, all that's left is to take on the Pokemon League. If you hope to stand alongside Nimona as a fellow champion, head to the Pokemon League. That is where you can take on the champion assessment. Okay, thank you for the photo. Yeah, hurry up and get to my rank. I'm itching for a battle of equals. I've got to take the time while you're facing the Pokemon League to fine-tune my Pokemon's moves and revamp all my tactics. Well, good luck, Fence here, and wish me luck too. It's unusual for me to see her so excited, though perhaps it's perhaps not for you. She must be really happy that she finally has a friend who can keep pace with her own talents. There's a special kind of strength that can that can only be reached by competing or competing with a good rival. Count on me, f count me among those eager to see how far you two can go. In any case, I'll be waiting for you at the Pokemon League, northwest of Mesagoza. All right. So yeah, now we have the Pokemon League, and yeah, I guess for the most part, you know we've. Pretty much finish 
I guess this storyline, you know, other other than the Pokemon League. But yeah, if I had to review the, I guess this storyline so far, I would say it's a mixed bag. You know, not not every gym really hit it for me, at least in the presentation department. <laughs> um, I think especially with the first two gym leaders, like, you know, they weren't really all that that I guess fun to, I guess do. But then we got to Iono, that's when things really, you know, ramped up. I like the water guy, I especially like the the ghost, the ghost woman. Um, <laughs> uh, I also think, you know, Grusha was okay as well. I do think, um, I think definitely the setting makes, uh, makes him like more, I guess, more fun, I guess. Because yeah, with uh, the first two, they, they definitely felt basic. I mean, of course, with, like, Brassius, that's probably the only thing that I mainly remember about him, <laughs> is his name. But yeah, thing, yeah, I pretty much forgot most of the first two. Um, but yeah, um, I think that's, yeah, I think, I think that's all for that. We gotta go to the Pokemon League, which is, I believe, over here, but first, we got some other stories to do. Um, let's see, what's after the ice? Oh, we go this one. We're going over here next. Over here. Let's go and set that as the destination. And then I guess we'll fly over here. Maybe we can just glide all the way over there. Because <laughs> uh, I think we can just jump off the mountain. But yeah, over here is a, uh, a crew that we gotta take down. The usual kind. Um, oh wait, <laughs> it's just right over there. Is that it? Right, right over there. Oh, dude, we're gonna. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be fast. Wait, is that their base? I see the the team Stargate. Wait, can I just fly in? I'm just gonna fly in. Oh, I, I, I'm going down. I'm going down. I ran out of batteries. Okay, so we can't, like, fly forever. Okay. Well, that's fine. I like to heal my Pokemon. I might just use, uh, Meowskarada here, aka Meowskaraid. Because I believe he's the... He's the only one at that... around that level, right? Yeah, he's at level 50. I mainly use the Rule Edge just for the ice stuff, but... Yeah, let's see if, um, yeah, Miascarade can do stuff. Oh, wait, there's a Chansey here. Doesn't Chansey, Chansey, like, give off a lot of XP? I think so. Let me go battle it right now. Um, we'll do a U-turn. Just to have some other people, like, try to level up as well. Oh my gosh. Wait, can we get Dreepy to evolve? We're almost to level 50, right? Um, I mean, I hope I can... Maybe pull this off. Soft boiled. Oh, you're gonna heal up? Ah! <laughs> that's actually a lot of HP restored. Uh, maybe, um... Uh... Shall we do Ditto? I also want to level up Ditto. Go Ditto! Okay. Double Edge. Youch. Damage by Recoil. Oh wow, Double Edge is really the only um attack that you got. Light screen. Oh wow. <laughs> that does not do a lot of damage. Oh wait, so now that I have the the moves here. Oh wait a minute. No, I do think Hold on, I can I can go back to Dreepy if I want. Oh you know what? We'll do Cerule Edge. <laughs> we'll just <laughs> go back and forth. But yeah, if double edge is the only attack then 
then yeah, pretty much Chansey cannot affect Dreepy because it's a ghost type. Oh well, yeah, we'll do Bitter Blade. There we go. I have a better way of healing Chansey. Oh my gosh, yes. Dang. Oh look, there's Vaporeon. Oh, cutscene, I guess, for the fairy. Hey. Fence here. Operation Starfall is going well, wouldn't you say? Only two bosses left now. This whole experience has me has been eye-opening, to say the least. I'm glad I could be could take part. I could take part. But I'm curious, Frontier, what do you think of Cassiopeia? They can't be trusted. <laughs> I mean Yeah. Is that so? Personally, I don't think Cassiopeia feels any hate or resentment towards Team Star. No, there must be some other reason behind Operation Starfall. What could it be? Well, I'd best get back to keeping watch. Call for me if you decide to take on the base, okay? Okay. Well, the base entrance is right there. Is there any more chances? <laughs> I would like to... Yeah, find more chances for that experience. Oh man, look at all these uh, Pokemon. They look really nice. Oh man, if I can go mo for more Chansey stuff, that'd be really great. I don't know where to find Chansey though. Hyper Potion. But yeah, this is the base here. And yeah, I can't find any more Chanseys and the game is kind of dropping in frames. I see a Sunflora. Alright, so you know what? I guess uh, we'll try to take on the base. Actually, we can take on these uh, gold ducks. Yeah, I think it's fine. Flower trick. Hopefully it does give us like some good experience. And yeah, there's a lot of them too. Oh yeah, that does give off a lot of good experience. Oh boy. Yeah, let's try to get to like maybe level 50 or something. Can we try to evolve at least uh, Dreepy here? That is like my dream right now. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Oh, yeah. We've never fought in water before. The ones that, I guess, aren't water or can't swim, maybe. They got their own platform. You know, it's funny. You know, I've played this game a lot right now, and we really haven't seen any bugs. I, I guess they really did patch out the bugs. I remember just seeing so many clips of the bugs, but so far, I mean, other than, um, what's his name? Other than, uh, the Fletchling getting kind of stuck on the fence, like flying into the fence looking all derpy and stuff, like, yeah, it's, it's actually been pretty chill. There we go. And Golduck fainted. Nice. And dude, there's so many Golducks, they give off a lot of experience. Okay. Power trick. Nice. <laughs> and they're just waiting in line to battle me. Just to give me experience. How, how nice of them. Uh, but yeah, we're about to... Yeah, we're about to level up Dreepy. I think that'll be the goal until the end of this video here. Flower trick. There we go. Wait, did I see the materials right? Did it say Psyduck down? 
<laughs> is it like Phoenix down, but I guess Psyduck? Alright. I'm running out of flower tricks. Here we go. And Golduck fainted. Ooh, we're so close. More Psyducks, please. <laughs> There's so many Psyducks. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay. Nice. And Golduck fainted. Ooh, so close, guys. So close. Alright. Um, flower trick. There we go. And I think we only have like one more. Oh, knockoff. Let's see. Uh, the user slaps down the target's held item, making it unusable for battle. This move does more damage if the target has a held item. Well, how do we know if they hold if they hold any items at all? <laughs> I think I'd rather have the Night Slash. Because, yeah, I feel like, you know, I think when it comes to the, the story mode of this game, they don't really have any items on them, I think. I could be wrong, but... It's just how I remember things, I guess. There we go. Are we almost there? Oh, level 50. I think you evolved now, yes. <laughs> Dreepy. Oh my gosh, finally, are you gonna finally be useful in battles? <laughs> Can you learn new moves? Oh, look at that. Your Dreepy has evolved into Dracloak. And I think at level 60, it evolves to, into uh, Dragapult. Caretaker Pokemon. This Pokemon stores up energy in its lungs, then shoots it out. It takes care of Dreepy and battles alongside them until they're all grown up. That's cool. Alright, cool. Dragon Pulse. Yeah, let's forget a move. Um, let's ask for advice. Infestation, okay. Alright, cool. So yeah, we got that done. You know what? Let's see if uh, Dragapult can be really good for this next battle here. Let me go and uh, heal up my Pokemon. I think the last thing I'll do in this video is maybe get started on the Team Star base because I feel like the battles there are going to fly by like really fast so I'm not too worried at least for the you know the front guard stuff there's always like a front guard <laughs> that we got to go through um, but yeah uh, you whoever is at the front gate I shall battle you I will return later when it's time for the young master's piano lesson until then please give him my regards y yes mr. Harrington Hmm. And who might you be, young man? A friend of the young master, perhaps? Um, I'm not sure. Ah, I see. Since you seem unaware, I must inform you that this is the base of Team Star's fairy crew. The Rukba squad, led by the young Master Otega. Um, Mr. Harrington, I don't think we're supposed to be giving out giving out that information no then please accept my apologies do you have any idea as who to who this young man might be he's no friend of ours you know I think he might be here to try to take us on understood in that case I take it you're an adversary of the young master yep that's right is that so? Well then, that, that leaves me with one thing to ask you. Huh? 
Would you be so kind as to indulge me in a quick battle? Yeah. Splendid. Then let us begin. Yeah, this will be the last thing that we do here. Alright, Harrington. Morgrim. Alright. Here we go, guys. New Pokemon here. How's Dragon Pulse? Subject to Torment. Oh, it doesn't affect? Oh, shoot. Well, that's not good. I should have also checked, like, what do they remember with the other moves? Like, with maybe a better ghost move? <laughs> oh, wait, maybe Jacloak might not be the best to use right now. Um. <laughs> you know what? Um. Nah, I want to level up someone else, too. Um. You know what? It's a real edge. Why not? <laughs> I messed up. <laughs> I messed up. Yeah, I don't know much about the fairy type. It's the one that I feel like I'm the most unfamiliar with. I believe... I think poison and steel is good against them. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it that I remember. Alright, better blade. Okay. Um, Hatrem. Nope, keep current Pokemon. Oh, can't use it in a row. Okay. Oops, I press it again. Oh, uh, let's do a uh, Night Slash, I guess. Oh, that is very effective. Good. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was. Okay, good. Nice. Level 50 as well. Well, well. An outstanding performance. However, be aware that young Master Otega's battle prowess far surpasses my paltry skills. Um, you would do well to take care. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hasta la vista! <laughs> uh, that gentleman, um, gentlemanly guy used to be the director of the academy, I think. At least that's what I heard of. Um, now he's like tutoring the boss or something. He shows up here sometimes to take on the boss, uh, take the boss to his lessons. Hang on, why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubting you're here to make trouble, so I gotta let everyone know. That's a lovely star. Yeah, let me see Dracloak's moves. Maybe there's some better moves that we can give it. Rotototo. I see the guard has been dealt with. Good job. That beast belongs to Team Star's fairy crew, the Ruckba squad. Is it Ruck or Rush? Rushba. Their boss, Ortega, is the mechanic of the team. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Under underestimate him, and things will go south for you quickly. He's also a real lead from the back type. He gets his grunts to do all the dirty work for him, but his weak point is his short fuse. Get him good and angry, and he'll march out to the front lines to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else for it but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. Just tough it out until Ortega shows up, and go from there. We can build the gates once you're ready. Alright. I got you. Alright, the last thing we'll do for realsies is just see if there's any good moves to remember. Oh my gosh, we finally got more moves. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, U-turn is also here too. Let me learn that. I like U-turn. Uh, maybe uh, quick attack can go away. Okay, let's go remember that Phantom Force. This one is the two-turn move, but that's fine. Um, Astonish can go away. All oh, right. So yeah, finally, <laughs> Dreepy, now Jacloak, has a better moveset and is more useful now than before. I do want to see of 
if uh, yeah, if uh, Jacloak can be good, because I want to now give Jacloak the time to shine. But yeah, we'll see. Um, anyway, guys, I'm gonna go heal up, and then next video we'll start out with the Fairy Crew. So that'll be for now, guys. That's game.